has a whole different level of energy. And it's one of the most inspiring places on the planet. To be able to get paid to shoot content and to do what I love is a blessing. And I'll never take it for granted. Come join us. Goosebumps, that's the thing. No, I know. <laughs> we saw how young they were. Most of them were entrepreneurs, CEOs. They call themselves gyp setters and boho. Um, that's what's coming to them. It's not the, the hipster. started calling us saying that they have a couple homes in, in, in Arizona, that they want to sell, they want to move their money down here because they're freaking out, they don't know what's going to happen with their president. This was right as it happened and it was one of our best uh, months, the same month that Trump came in because people freaked out. But I found that there's a lot of people that want to diversify their money and move it outside their country. You know, there's, there's a lot, lot of people already doing it. A lot. They, they think it's the opposite though. A lot of people think it's going to be too hard to move your money over the country because the U.S. wants to keep it. But it's actually not that difficult. True. Let's go. Vibes are where we are. We are the vibe. But also, I want you to catch as many vibes as possible, which isn't hard in Tulum. Tulum is a vibe. And obviously, her knowing she's already. What up, Several guys? Hey, hey, hey. With a little bit of chili, lime, and oh, and some lime. We have to do it in a super strategic yeah. way, trust yeah. me. You're not losing it. You're not doing it. You're not losing it. You're investing it wisely and you're staying ahead of the game. Catch him. 
vibes all over the city. I'm gonna interview the man, Tony, and get as much value extracted from him for our audience as possible, and share his story. He made his first six figures at 19, lost it, made it back, and then finally learned how to protect it. I see a lot of young kids, including kids in our academy that are making six figures, well over, and they don't know how to protect it, or compound it, or diversify or keep it. So that's something that's it's very needed right now in our economy is not just how to make money, because I think you'd agree, it's not that difficult to make money no, these days. There's a million ways. Absolutely. If you have the hustle, it's, it's not that hard, but keeping it and then compounding it and then protecting your family, then retiring your mom, it's a whole different story, yep. All right, so we're working with five, five million pesos for a, for a piece of land and you're looking for a corner, ideally on a corner, obviously in downtown Tulum. I would like downtown Tulum for what I'm trying to do, either a hotel or a long-term studio. Taylor about the fucking flex. Of course, so I did all that, showed, showed off, and sure enough, the money didn't last too long before you knew it. You know, I had gone through hundreds and thousands of dollars. I could, I could literally say that I was somewhere in my mid 20s, I was maybe 23, 24, and I for sure had gone nearly close to a million dollars at that point in revenue. Spent. Spent. Yeah. Same yeah. thing happened yeah. to me. I went broke, then I was like, shoot, I should probably figure out how to not go broke, right? But it took me going broke, it took you getting fired. I think you're right. Because you can go a week without <laughs> playing poker pretty easy, but you can't go a week without one. Yeah. <laughs> Jungle bikes. And just to let you guys know it's still like eighty degrees, like I'm still yeah, hot. Exactly. I'm still sweating. Good. Zebra, La Zebra, downtown Tulum. We came here exactly a year and a month ago, and it was amazing. the good vibes treehouse bad vibes get thrown out they ask you a bunch of questions before you come up and if you have any bad energy or any bad vibes they don't let you up it's a good way to live life Why? the red one will burn you it'll burn your skin the funny is that the one that heals you it's always right next to it so if you touch this, it's gonna burn bad. Like this is very common. And then you gotta get leaves from this tree to um, help with the heat. That's crazy, crazy, right? Yeah. 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 And I think that that's the beautiful thing about Tulum that it attracts that because of the again, you know, such a cool place, the vibes, such a young crowd, such a fresh place. That hits home with me though because I have quite a bit of rental from the states, and they're in all different states. Why well, rentals in five different states, half of them I've never even seen before. I love what you've done, man, the legacy you built, and I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Yep. Much love, I appreciate it. The one beat maker, the hit maker, the hit maker. Unforgettable experience, that's what I'll tell you. It's... Catch me um, outside, Sean. Indescribable, for sure. Yeah. 
I'll tell you, this is a tree fort for wealthy adults. That's it. The vibes are unreal. All right, man, we're here to pick up Peter. On to our second interview. Vibes. Yeah. That was fun last that night, That was though. so much fun. That was fun. I, we probably burned like 2,000 calories dancing, at least. Trash bags are. That's they want to keep it hidden. Yeah. Who's excited? Oh, dude, this, this is my spot. This is yeah. my favorite spot. Are they closed? They closed like completely, like shut down. Yeah. What? It's time to adapt and adjust. I'm not a beaver, but I'm adjusting. Uh, they must have just closed down. There's two things she cares about in Tulum. Euphemia, and then this restaurant called Euphemia. And it's closed. Oh, huh. Oh, oh. Order it for you. Thank you. Just a little bit. Was I dancing? No, you weren't. Some things in life just can't be described. And to truly understand them, you must experience yourself. I challenge you to travel and maximize every experience you can. Because your money will return, but your time won't. So spend it on things that inspire you and create memories that you'll never forget.